My name is Adam King. I'm an associate professor here in the Department of Kinesiology at TCU. Uh, I teach undergraduate students in the area of motor behavior and biomechanics, and I also lead the research activities going on in the motor behavior lab. The motor behavior lab specializes in understanding uh, human movement and the neuromotor functions that go along with skill performance. We try to understand how skillful actions are performed um, and also look at how injuries or neurological disorders uh, impact people's ability to perform those movements. The Motor Behavior Lab uses a variety of equipment to be able to understand human motion. One of the pieces of equipment that we use quite often is our motion capture system where we place reflective markers on individuals and record their motion. This is the same uh, software and technology that is used in video games and animated movies, uh, but we use it to understand how people execute and perform uh, skills such as walking, running, jumping, and landing to understand what skillful behavior looks like from a motion standpoint as well as how injuries can impact that motion that's happening. Another piece of equipment that we use is called a force plate. This, this measures forces on the ground when people are walking, running, or jumping um, off the force plate. Uh, this gives us information about maximal force production when people jump off the, the force plate and determines how far they, they land, as well as how well they can absorb forces in landing situations, which is important for injury mechanics. The Mode Behavior Lab invites undergraduate and graduate students interested in human movement to join the lab. They are able to engage in, in research activities by getting involved in current projects and also being able to um, come up with their own ideas around human movement that they want to investigate. Model well, Behavior Laboratory provide me with the equipment including motion capture camera, force play, supported software that will be used to quantify the stepping kinematic and postural control variables. Those variables will allow me to get a better understanding of how we move and how we compensate or how we change our movement pattern in response to the changing environment. Another piece of equipment that we use is called electromyography and this measures the electrical activity of the muscles when people are performing movements. We can record how much force is being generated within the muscle. However, humans don't actually perform the same movement identically every time and understanding the variations that happen with movement gives us important insight about characteristics of skill behavior and how it can be beneficial for other individuals to explore movements as well as recover from movements when they are dealing with injuries or neurological conditions.